I'm originally from Yaoundé, Cameroon. My dad had gone to NYU back in the 80s. As we're growing up, he said, you guys have to go study abroad. Highly recommend the U.S. We heard about Atlanta during the 1996 Olympic Games, and we said, oh, maybe we should check out Atlanta. I found uh, Ogletop University. Uh, they had a pre-engineering program. I already knew I wanted to go into tech, specifically engineering. As a junior at Ogletop came the time to pick the school where I was going to transfer. And although I was accepted at some other school down the street, what really uh, turned me off was the fact that when I visited the campus, the students seemed very stressed out. It, it just felt so rigid. When I visited the Auburn campus, it was completely different. I had to go to Mary Martin Hall. I asked a student where the building was, and they said, oh, let me walk you there. Like, don't you have somewhere to go? You seem like you were going somewhere. I don't want to trouble you. No problem. I'm already late anyway. At Auburn, it is so typical to, to talk to people, it, it, like to be friendly, to just chat with a stranger. It made me realize what Southern hospitality is. Like, I, I knew the concept, I was familiar with the idea, and it was really nice to see that embodiment of it. As an undergrad and in grad school, I did an internship with Morgan Stanley, got a full-time offer, and at first I thought, I'm not sure I want to work here. It's a bank. What will a software engineer do at an investment bank? Uh, then I thought about the wealth of technologies the company has, the complexity of problems. I work on institutional, a web, as well as mobile engineering application. We build a web platform as well as a mobile platform uh, that clients can access, but at the same time, we have internal consumers. So that means we build tools, libraries, SDK APIs uh, for other developers at the company to make their job easier so they can build a mobile-friendly application uh, by leveraging the tools we build. So I decided to embrace the challenge. New York was not on my list of dream places. I gave myself a couple of years and I decided to see where it takes me. And um, I'm still here 10 years later. My favorite part is on the subway. If I see anyone wearing urban swag and I say why eagle, I know we're going to strike a very good conversation. One thing we learned growing up that my great-grandmother used to remind us of was we did not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we are borrowing it from the next generation. That means we should strive to leave things better than we found them. We knew that giving back to the community was really important. It doesn't matter which skills you have, uh, you have to apply them to help the whole world. But then how can I do that as a software engineer? I have no idea. While at Auburn, uh, Dr. Cheryl Seale uh, informed us that she had received a grant to help teach computing at local middle schools. Fast forward a few years at Morgan Stanley. Apparently, Morgan Stanley had just created a tech philanthropy department and they were looking for ideas. In New York, New Jersey, as well as in London, there are a lot of underserved schools. My colleagues and myself could come and help teach, but at the same time serve as mentors, I realized that by training these students, we're actually helping shape a better future because who knows what they're going to invent or create. Like that little spark we are generating could lead a huge fire. Bonsoir. <laughs> uh, born and raised in Yaoundé, Cameroon, I was a typical middle child. I grew up in a developing nation where potable water was and still is, to some extent, one of the most valuable commodities. Uh, we were well aware that our parents were first generation high school and also college graduates. Therefore, my siblings and I knew from an early age that we had to follow in their footsteps, although we were unsure where. Uh, the one thing we knew is that our papa was an NYU scholar. He had gone to New York University. And he was also the first in our family to travel as far as the United States. He really enjoyed his time in the Northeast, but he wasn't exactly fond of the winters. Um, in fact, our mother tongue does not have a word for winter. <laughs> uh, growing up, we were treated with stories about a unique place where people from different cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds 
as well as political affiliations could work together to benefit the community. And we could hardly believe that such a place exist, could exist. Of course, we all dreamed of visiting and hopefully one day studying there, if possible, if only we could figure out a way around that pesky winter. And then Fate's talk, an announcer during the 1996 Olympic Games mentioned how great the weather is in the Atlanta area. In fact, in the Southeast in general, and then a light bulb went on. <laughs> A few years later, I landed at Hatsfield Jackson uh, with two suitcases and a head filled with dreams. I completed my pre-engineering curriculum at Ogotop University, and I was accepted at its partner, dual degree institutions uh, throughout the country, the top contender being that school up on I-85. <laughs> and to, um, that was really my top choice at the time and to best prepare myself to my mandatory transfer during the junior year, I started attending club events, tech conferences, and so on with the students there. That's when I came to the realization that I will not thrive. I will be pretty miserable there. And the timing could not have been more serendipitous because I met several Auburn students at those very tech conferences and I was amazed by their kindness as well as their wisdom. As soon as re I returned home from the tech conference, I booked a campus tour and I eagerly drove to Auburn a few days later. Uh, a few months later, I was proud to be counted amongst the Auburn students. Uh, first as an undergrad in computer science and software engineering and then later as a graduate student. I forgot to leave. <laughs> <laughs> And um, most of my week was spent uh, taking classes, working part-time uh, for IT support at the wonderful School of Wildlife Sciences and Forestry under Tim Buttonfield and Jenny McCollum. I also participated in various extracurricular endeavors such as Cupola, ACM, NSBSWE, BGPSC, the Academic Excellence Program, the African Student Association, and La Table Francaise. And, even my off-campus life was positively influenced by my Auburn family. Uh, for example, on Saturdays, I really enjoy blacksmithing in Lochapoca at the Lee County Historical Society. Oh yeah, there is a blacksmithing association there um, with Dr. Jim Weedy. Uh, I also took several independent classes with Dr. Kai Chang and Dr. Ron Gilbert. Uh, the computing teaching program organized by Dr. Cheryl Seals at local middle schools significantly influenced the tech philanthropy program that I could coordinate at on the South community uh, with my colleagues throughout New York City as well as Union City, New Jersey. Uh, with other colleagues, also at Morgan Stanley, we volunteer outside. Um, outside of work in London and in Ghana, specifically Accra, Cape Coast, Kofu uh, Ridwa, Ho and Kumasi, helping teach computer science. Uh, furthermore, the mentorship I received from Dr. Nels Madsen, Dr. Shirley Scott Harris, Ms. Otello Dalton, Jim Killian, Dr. David Humphreys, Dr. Saad Biaz, Dr. Homer Carline, Carlisle and Dr. Danielle Magitu inspired me to pay it forward by both in as well as outside of my workplace, in domestically and internationally. I should mention one of my fondest memories of Auburn. Uh, Dr. Bias once declined to accept my homework uh, because I hurriedly submitted it since I had to rush to a tech conference and his words were, this is not you. That motivated me to make sure that going forward, I will always submit the best quality. I will, like, it ensure that the highest possible quality of my work, uh, mainly at school, but also in my current role, um, in mobile as well as web application engineering. I have several side projects in spatial computing specifically augmented reality. And the foundation I acquired here at Auburn helps me 
to this day at my workplace. Although I may not have mentioned everyone, please know that there is a myriad of people I would like to thank and rec uh, recognize and thank for helping me uh, shape my personal as well as my professional life towards success. This is most certainly not something I could have accomplished alone. You all play a part in this and deserve to share this award. I'm grateful for this recognition and I'm blessed to enjoy both a work as well as personal life where I can make a positive difference in the community. All thanks to you, my urban family. And please remember that together we're making this world, which we are borrowing from future generations, according to my great grandmother. We're helping make this world a better place. We are leaving things better than we found it. Where you go? Where you go? <laughs>